The last thing we have to do is to create a contact. But first, let's open geometry and suppress one more body. Also rename this to nut. There was a typo here. Zoom in. If you highlight the second lower nozzle entity, you'll notice that the groove actually get this name. So right click and suppress. You can also rename it as group. Save the project. Now we are ready to create the contacts. You can close design modeler and open mechanical from model. Note that ANSYS has already created some connections for us. If you expand connections and contacts, you're going to see seven contact regions that are what ANSYS thinks that should be the connections. Let's delete this because usually ANSYS does not make a good job creating all your contacts. Let's add our own contacts now. The first, the first one will be bonded between the bolt and the nut. So click on contacts, right click, insert, and manual contact region. Zoom in a little bit. Let's hide the lower nozzle. So select one of its face, one of its faces, and click hide body. Rotate the view a little bit. The contact will be this face of the bolt. Click apply. If you don't see this, win this windows here, you must check this body view. Now let's select the inner face of the nut. Click on the bolt. Right click, hide body, select this one, click apply. Right click and show all bodies. Now we can see both geometries on these windows. This is very cool. So let's uncheck sync wheels so we can move them in freely. Check that the type is already set to bonded. And that's it. Next, let's add the frictionless support between the two parts of the nozzle. So, again, right click contacts, insert, manual, con manual contact region. Change the view to isometric. Zoom a little bit. So the contact will be on the lower nozzle and the target on the upper nozzle, on the mid nozzle. So let's first hide this mid nozzle and select these two faces as contact. Click apply. Show all bodies. Hide the lower nozzle. Rotate and select these two faces here and click apply. Change the type to frictionless. Next, let's add a, another frictionless contact between the mid nozzle and the head of the bolt. So again, right click, show all bodies, isometric. Let's zoom in a little, zoom in a little bit. And right click contacts, insert manual contact region. Okay. Rotate the body, 
So the contact will be this face here. And the target will be, let's hide this body, will be this face, this curved face here. This one. Apply. Change the type to frictionless. Show all bodies isometrically, okay. Now let's add another frictionless support similar to this one, but between the lower nozzle and the nut. Right click contacts, manual contact region. Zoom in. So contact, select this face here. Always make sure that the face selection filter is on. So the contact will be this part of the lower nozzle. Click apply. And the target will be this face of the, it's behind here. So let's hide this body. Select this space here as target and click apply. Change the types of friction a little again. The last contact that we need to specify is between the body of the bolt and the flanges. So right click contact, insert, manual contact region. Let's show all bodies and zoom out a little bit. Zoom out. Let's control key this two and hide body. The contact will be this face of the bolt between the head and the nut. Apply. Then show all bodies. Let's now hide the bolt body and select these two. Be careful to not select the nut. Okay. Change the type to frictionless. And that's it. Now we've created all the contacts that we need. So let's back to isometric view and save the project.